Yo, what is going on guys? As you can see by the title, this is my Premier League 2021 to 2022 prediction. Let me turn my fan off real quick. There you go. As you see here, we're going to have the top four, 5th to 7th, 8th to 10th, 11th to 14th, 15th to 17th, and then the relegation. So I'm recording this currently on Saturday night, but to be honest, I was going to do it before the season started. But to be fair, nothing of my opinion that I've seen uh, in the games on the on Arsenal Brentford in the games today on Saturday, nothing's really changed my mind how I've looked at this. So to be honest, it's not that bad, uh, and it's only one game. Like you can't determine it off everything. Anyway, we're gonna jump right into it. I'm gonna go from bottom to top. So I personally think the relegation will be Norwich. It will be. Crystal Palace and see this is a tough one for me so I've not fully decided this either I'm still like thinking but I'd say Newcastle personally I don't like Newcastle I think they've got some okay players but I just don't like them and I hope they get relegated but that's how I think it all it all look uh 15th 17th I'd say probably Brighton there um Southampton, I'd say. Um, one sec, I've got a uh, currently got a bet on PSG. I'm a bit scared, they're nearly choking. I'd say Burnley there as well. So, what's that? 20, 19, 18, and 17, 16, 15th. Um, probably, yeah, no, I'd say that's fair. Um, maybe put Brighton there actually. Probably a bit fairer, yeah. Um, all right, and then 14th, I'm going to put Brentford and Watford. They'll be very close to each other. I'd put Brentford ahead, actually. Um, then, actually, I'll put Wolves. I'll put Wolves in the middle of the two. Um, then I'm going to go with... So, what's that? 14th, 13th, 12th, 11th. <sighs> We go with Arsenal 11th, and then I'm gonna put Tottenham 10th. Um, actually, no, I forgot about Everton. They'll be um, they'll be there actually. They'll be 11th, Everton. Um, then Arsenal 10th, uh, Tottenham 9th, Aston Villa 8th, Leeds. Actually, no, I've really bollocked this up, haven't I? Jesus, I've really messed this up. I'd say actually Leeds are going to be 11th. Then it will look like this. It will be Everton 10th, Arsenal 9th, Spurs 8th, Villa 7th, West Ham 6th, Liverpool 5th. Leicester fourth. Oh, this is tough. This is tough. Chelsea third. City second. United first. I am a United fan, so of course I'm going to put them first. But I think, on honestly, I think we could do it this year. Um, that is how I'd put the table. Uh, it, just a quick video. Only four minutes long. Uh, but this is how I'd say the table will go. Uh, I think I've been a bit biased, obviously, for United, but I think they could. Um, I've been a bit biased again towards... Um, all right, PSG won. Good, good. Um, Newcastle, I've been a bit biased towards I'm not a big fan of them. Uh, I think these are fair. Um, Southampton, after losing Danny Ings, and James Ward-Prowse might go. Uh, Burnley, meh, Brighton. Hmm. Uh, I, I, I like Brentford and Watford. Wolves, I think... Uh, on the decline they were good for like a season or two um then it's all just i don't know downhill i think uh leads mm, i don't think they'll do as good as last year but i think they'll still hold up well uh i think a big issue for them is that they didn't actually make too many they didn't do anything really as far as i'm aware in the transfer window they didn't i mean they didn't get rid of that many people as far as i'm aware but they didn't really get anyone either so it's just the same old team really um Everton, I don't think they'll do as well, just because, obviously, again, I don't think they've really bought anyone. Uh, and I think James Rodriguez, 
is either injured or not playing, something like that, and rumoured that he might have left as or was going to leave as well or something. Arsenal, they're just kind of in the mud now. I honestly think they could they Arsenal could be a lot lower. Um and I'm not just saying that because of their game against Brentford, genuinely, I just think they just don't they've got some okay players, but they don't click and the team it's just it's rough. Spurs could lose Kane. It's not confirmed yet though, but even if they don't, I still think, eh. Uh, Villa, I think, will do very well, even though today they lost to Watford. But I still think Villa with Danny Ings, Bailey, um, Gray, which didn't actually play today, but I think he should. Um, Buendia, you've, they, they should play Twan Zobi. They got him from United. They should play him as in the defense because they had some defensive problems today. Uh, but they should definitely play him, and I think they, they could very challenge. Uh, West Ham... Uh, I think they could. They're going to carry on what they did as long as injuries don't hurt them. They'll be good. Liverpool. I never really rate them. Again, this is just bias. I don't really like them. Um, yeah, I think they've got a lot of overrated players. Lots and lots of overrated players, and they scrape a lot of results as well. They really do scrape a lot of results. If you if you watch their Premier League winning season, and even after that last season and so on. Their wins, I, they sometimes, fair enough, they'll play really well and they'll get a convincing win, smash someone. But a lot of their wins are like either really like last five, ten minute goals and it's like, oh, that is lucky. And it's not even a good goal, it's like, you are very lucky. They get a lot of them, but I mean, a win's a win at the end of the day. Leicester, I think, will do very well. Chelsea, I think, I mean, they they play the most boring football going and the most boring team to watch uh, in like, you know, the top teams. You'd expect them to be exciting and stuff, but they're so boring to watch. Um, hopefully Lukaku can change that. City, very exciting, and I think they'll do well, uh, especially if they get Kane. It'll be, jeez. Uh, interesting how Grealish does, and United with, you know, with how we did today against Leeds, uh, without Cavani, uh, Martial wasn't even, you know, really playing. He came on near the end. Sancho came on near the end as well, but obviously at that point you're sitting back seeing the game out. Uh, so no, didn't play Varane. I would, and we were playing McFred and Dan James, you know. Like we've got Van der Beek, could have brought on. You got Sancho, uh, that didn't really start. Obviously, you got Rashford waiting to come back. Um, so yeah, we. Hopefully, injuries don't ruin us. But yeah, this is my team. Hopefully, you all enjoyed. Uh, we'll come back to this at the end of the season and see how well I did. Um, will be very interesting. I think it's going to be a great season. But honestly, this kind of top, the top seven could be literally anybody. Uh, especially the top four. It, I imagine it will be these four somewhere. Maybe Liverpool in there. Maybe it will be. It will be someone. Um, but yeah, it will be very interesting. And uh, yeah, these are my predictions. Hopefully, you will enjoy. I'm going to do an NFL prediction of where I think teams will come in the NFL and stuff like that. Uh, so stay tuned for that, and more content will be coming to you soon. So yeah, thank you for watching, and adios.